It's Ryan Howard. We're going to be checking out some of these top prospects that are going to be at Spring Breakout. I'm extremely excited about this spring breakout. I think the amount of talent that's in the game today just continues to grow. These guys are bigger, stronger, faster than the, the previous generations, my generation. So to take a look at some of the next up and comers, looking very, very forward to it and sharing my thoughts on what it is that I see. All right, first off, let's let's talk about Jackson Holiday for a second, okay? Let's talk about the lineage that he comes from, first off. He's got an uncle who's the head coach at Oklahoma State. His dad, probably one of the strongest people in the entire world that I've ever had the opportunity to be able to play against. So you understand that this kid is going to have all the tools and the necessities to be a great baseball player. In 145 games, 320, 449 on base percentage, 490 slug and 13 homers, 84 RBIs, 28 stolen base. I love what I'm seeing hitting wise. His timing is great. Nice, easy, fluid swing. Power is gonna continue to come for him. Right now, I mean, he's still young. He's still kind of growing into his body. So he's getting his base hits. And I always used to say, you can't hit home runs if you don't make contact. He looks like a great contact hitter using the entire field. Kind of reminds me a little bit in some facets of a Joe Maurer. He's going to take his base hits. He's going to hit the ball to the opposite field and just had a great, great presence about himself at the dish and had a great game plan. Jackson reminds me a lot of that right now. He's thinking two every single time out of the box. If the ball's staying in the yard, he's trying to stretch it out and get that extra bag. I think that's what's gonna help him fit in perfectly with this Baltimore Orioles team when he's able to get up there because those guys have that mindset of, for lack of a better term, dirt bags. Those are gonna be the guys that go out there and try to take the extra base, try to put more pressure on the defense, and he goes out there and he plays the game hard and he plays the game the right way. Let's see, Luis Angel Acuna younger brother of Ronald Acuna Jr. So you know the DNA is about to play in this video. I mean, obviously, same stance as his brother, great hitting styles. I mean, he goes after the ball very, very well. A couple of these early videos, it looks like he's kind of got a reverse scissor where that back foot kind of kicks out a little bit on the swing. Kind of reminds me a little bit with some of these swings of a, of a little bit of some Ozzy Albies. I think it's sometimes he kind of coiled himself a little bit. I think the difference, there was a little bit of a coil and Ozzy kind of gets a little bit of a coil in there as well, where a lot of these other videos videos, he stayed more upright and got into it. You might as well just rename the NL East, the Acuna division. Next up, we've got Paul Skeens, first overall pick in the 2023 draft, LSU Tiger, national champion, pitcher. So what we're gonna look for is what makes this guy so dominant against the hitters. First thing is, he's 6'6". Six, six. I've faced guys that were 6'6", six, six, you know, Chris Young, Randy Johnson, 6'10", and you put them on top of a mound, so now they're like 7'5". It's not a pleasant sight to really wanna go out there and go see. So the first thing that I see, he's one of those guys where he's got that, he's got that smooth jazz on the mound. And what I mean by that is, he's very, very smooth, and his delivery is effortless. He's not trying to overthrow. It just explodes out of his hands. He reminds me of uh, Garrett Cole. Stature, the size. He looks like he's got that, you know, a bit of that Garrett Cole mentality. And if he does, he's gonna be around this game for a very long time. And I think with Paul, if Paul's able to move the ball, spot the ball, and do whatever it is he wants with those pitches when he wants to do it, he's one of those guys that's gonna have a few no hitters, perfect games, the whole nine, just becoming a full all around pitcher. You, you gotta pitch. You can't just try to blow it by everybody because when you get to the big leagues, you're gonna see they can hit it. After watching these clips, the Pirates found themselves a little bit of hidden treasure right there. They're gonna be set up nicely with Paul Skeen. Let's talk about Dylan Cruz. I did get to watch him a little bit while he was at LSU and I loved his plate presence, what he was able to do. He just controlled the at bat it seemed. And I think that with the Washington Nationals picking him up, I think this is gonna be a great pickup. Watching him take batting practice right now, the one thing that I see, his load, he stiffens out, he kind of straightens out that front leg a little bit. He stays behind that front leg really stays on his backside which allows that ball to travel so he can hit the ball to all fields catch it out a little bit in front 
you're pulling it. But I like how he keeps his hands inside. It kind of reminds me a little bit of my man, David Wright a little bit. D Wright can't do no wrong. Where D Wright used to kind of get that front foot out and he'd stay back on that backside, fire through. Let's talk about Victor Scott the second. Center fielder, St. Louis Cardinals. I was born and raised St. Louis, so we're going to see what it is. So these first few swings, what I really like, another lefty after my own heart. Very smooth. He's very, very, very quiet in his approach and his swing. It looks very powerful. Ooh, man. Yeah, you don't want to throw that pitch. Speed-wise, yeah, this, this kid's going to come out. He's going to wreak havoc. Watching videos of him kind of takes me back to my childhood, watching him on the base paths, growing up with those Cardinals teams that had Willie McGee, Vince Coleman, Terry Pendleton, where the art of stealing was everything. And as I see here, he has a goal to steal 100 bases in a season, whether that's in the minor leagues or in the major leagues. Yes, sir. The fans are going to enjoy watching a player like Victor Scott II, based on him talking about wanting to steal 100 bags because it's bringing more action back into the game. So here we have the Washington Nationals, James Wood. First thing that sticks out to me is this man is six foot six, 234 pounds. So you know he's gonna have some thump in that bat. Let's take a look at the stats. 231 minor league games, 41 homers, and 175 RBI in 998 plate appearances. So the first thing I see, he reminds me a lot of myself, he uses his leverage and his length to his advantage, which is what he should do. The thing that stands out too, watching some of this defense right here in the outfield, him being as tall as he is, he may look like he's in slow motion because his stride is seven feet long, but he's going to cover some ground. And so I, I love seeing that from a defensive standpoint. I think early on, he's going to be a great, great hitter. I think he just has to stay within himself and do what he's doing. I always used to try to have the mentality of gap to gap. I kind of feel like watching him, it's, it's a similar type of situation because if you catch it a little bit deeper, he hits it out to left. If he catches it a little bit earlier, he hits it out to right. Jackson Churio, center fielder, right fielder, second baseman. 272 minor league games, 286 clip with a 347 OBP, 47 homers. The one thing I love about what I'm seeing right here is that he uses all fields, number one. That's the biggest thing. His swing is very short, very compact, gets loaded nice and slow. Oh yeah, yeah, I mean, I, I love watching guys go oppo. That tells me this kid's gonna be a complete hitter. Getting into the big leagues, one thing I always tell guys and one thing I tried to do was figure out how to slow the game down. Every single level from the minor leagues, from A ball to double A to triple A to the big leagues especially, the game has a tendency of speeding up. So when you can figure out ways to slow the game down, understand what his strengths and weaknesses are, and stay within himself. Don't try to do too much. Stay within yourself, play your game, understand, be confident in who you are, be confident in your game, and the rest will take, take care of itself. Milwaukee, looks like y'all got a keeper with this one. After watching all these guys and all these clips, I'm super excited to see what these guys are gonna bring to spring breakout. So make sure you continue to follow the action.